This year, Indianapolis is on track for its highest number of homicides in the city's history. After a violent weekend with 16 people shot, we are checking back in on an effort focused on reducing violent crimes. The initiative is called Operation Legend and the goal to make Indianapolis a safer city for all of us. WRTV's Alyssa Donovan is working for you finding out if Operation Legend is producing results. Two of the people shot this weekend died from their injuries. One of those homicides happened here at North Colorado and East Washington Street. People who live in neighborhoods where gun violence is happening say they want to see action. We shouldn't have to live like this in fear. Fear is exactly what fueled Wendy Castillo to build this fence and put up security cameras around her family's home on East Bradbury Avenue. The mother of three not surprised to learn of a shooting just down the street early this morning. It's nothing new. It's, I mean, it's just something that's becoming a, a common thing now over here. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. The violence common in John Grisby's neighborhood too. His bus stop just across the street from where a shooting occurred on Saturday night near 10th and E-Wing. I heard about probably uh, six to 10 uh, gunshots go off. The gun violence, something Operation Legend is working to prevent, along with drugs, robberies, and other crimes happening in the city. What this is, is an intense effort with extra resources. We're going 24-7. Uh, this is the most intense effort that I've seen in my 26 years here. Federal law enforcement agencies are working together with local and state police to fight crime. We're on day 29 of the 45-day operation. What we wanted to do is to stop the bleeding. Despite the weekend violence, Operation Legend has been making progress, confiscating drugs and drug money, arresting fugitives, and removing 87 guns from the streets of Indianapolis. Who knows uh, how high that number would have been if those, all those guns, I think 87, were still on the street. But there's more work to be done. The goal is to get neighborhoods like Castillo's and Grisby's to a place where permanent change can happen. When people are shooting at each other, it's tough to implement, uh, you know, uh, certain programs to help with employment or mental illness or housing or education. If you get people to stop shooting at each other, then those, those things that address the root causes of the crime can begin to take root. I'm Alyssa Donovan, WRTV. In the 29 days of Operation Legend, officers have arrested 31 fugitives, confiscated more than 500 grams of heroin, and seized more than a million dollars in drug money, along with the 87 guns taken off the street. The U.S. Attorney General for Southern Indiana says he truly feels they have helped make the public safer.